very hot. The AC people, um, I think the last vlog I talked about it, yeah. Um, AC guy came and assessed the situation. He's coming tomorrow, so we're going day two now. Um, since I've been home anyway, that we have no AC. But at least tomorrow it'll be fixed. And then also, we got another problem. Um, <laughs> it's like the weekend from hell, but it's fine. Um, our water, we're got to get like someone to come out and assess our water situation because our water bill was like $500. And we have we don't know of any leaks, so they're going to check and see. I know our toilet runs sometimes, but it's always done that since we moved in, so I personally have no idea. Yeah. And I've got to get this room cleaned up and then also call for my appointments today. So I'll bring y'all along with that and then I'm going to write a list down of everything I need to get done. I'm trying to get everything done at least this week and next week. Um, so, that. If anyone doesn't know, if you guys are, are just now starting out like how I am, you can always get your shot records if you don't want to do the titers, which the titers is just where they take your blood and they're able to um, tell you, like I guess, what shots you've already had. I know in the Army they did that with us because a lot of the times, sometimes you just you can't get a hold of shot records like that, um, especially people like in different states. Um, but you can either get the titers done at your appointment at the doctor or just go to the Department of Health like in your area um, and or call like what state you were born in or where you would have gotten the shots from. Sorry, my glasses are hella crooked right now. I seriously need to get some new glasses. Bear with me, y'all. Um, or the state you would have got them from. I know if you were in school, they always add, they'll add them. Like if you go to a new pediatrician, like when you're younger, they'll request it from the other states. but. Regardless, whatever state you were born in or you lived in growing up, um, where you would have received the shots, you can always go um, call the Department of Health there and then they'll mail it to you, uh, free of charge, by the way. So right now, I went to the farm this morning, a farm this morning, and got some fresh produce. So I wanna show you guys what I got. It's a fun little outing before I put it in the fridge. And the fan's going, so bear with me. Um, we got this big old watermelon, not big old watermelon, but it's all organic. You can tell it's an organic watermelon. That's cute. Little. And got a lot of fresh veggies. Got zucchini. Big old boy. <laughs> um, I got a beefsteak tomato, which is cool because I have those in my garden. They just haven't grown out yet. Um, I don't know what kind of tomato this is. Just like a regular one. Then I got some peaches. I got three peaches. I got some peaches at the store a few weeks ago and it was trash. It was so nasty. Like it was hard and um, my dad's from Fort Valley, so they grow I am a peach knob, so we, we know good peaches. And I was like, well maybe it'll ripen. No. We got some good peaches there. Um we bought two onions. We just got bell peppers. Three different colored bell peppers, which is cool. I think I have this variety growing in my garden um, and this one too, so that's cool. Just kind of see what they'll probably look like. So I got three of these. We love bell pepper in this house. And then two onions. And these are all organic stuff grown on the farm, local, local farm. And then y'all know how I am. I love okra. So I got a big old thing of okra here. I'm excited about that. Okra and tomato, I love. And okra is very good for you. And then we got some potatoes for um, a roast. If I, I like to put them in my roast. I, I had their potatoes before and they were really, really good. That's awesome. But it's nice to have fresh fruit and vegetables um, like that are locally grown instead of getting them from the store while my garden is coming up. I, I picked this for my garden yesterday. This is, it's kind of wilted because I had it out on the counter and there's no AC and I put it in kind of too late, but um, I got some kale that I picked from my garden. It looks way better yesterday, but yesterday, and then I got a whole bunch of 
bush beans that I picked. This is from my garden. So pesticide free um, and the fertilizer that I used is organic. So awesome. It's pretty cool. I'll make a, um, out of the kale I've always been doing this summer, um, I'll bake it or I'll make kale chips out of it and I'll also just put the bush beans in the um, oven to just bake them with a little bit of salt and oil and the snap peas. I feel like my snap peas are done because I literally just, literally just eat them raw. They're so good. So. So my first appointment has been made um and i've also scheduled my i'm sorry if you guys can hear that in the background it's very hot in here i've also made my um cpr my bls uh certification appointment <laughs> my cpr class um actually i have some to i have to complete a course online it's literally like in a couple days so i think tomorrow or tonight i'll look into that and then also y'all um so we have a thing in the army called srp that we do or in the army national guard and we do it once a year at least once a year sometimes we do it twice but usually it's just once a year and why did i just find out i have more money on the table to pay for school that i had no idea about no idea so I apply for that. If you guys don't know, you can go to Army Ignited. I'm sorry, I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> Army Ignited um, and make sure that you're getting your tuition assistance, your federal tuition assistance. Literally, like every fiscal year, I have $4,000 sitting there. I had no idea. Like WTF. It's um, different from your GI Bill. I didn't know that. Like all this stuff that people explained to me, I was a teenager. I, I, I didn't freaking know. So now that... I'm, you know, getting up there, or I'm a sergeant now, like, I'm, I'm like, wait a second, I, 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 there's so many opportunities and benefits, and then my school, thankfully, is doing this, um, what is it, a uh, scholarship, so I'll just apply for that too, but I'm like, why are you applying for scholarships? You literally have money you're entitled to through the army, so make sure you sometimes your leadership is not going to have your best interests at heart meaning they don't give a shit about your career or like what your benefits are they just think a private is going to know all this stuff you know and they're not going to be willing to help or they don't feel like it or whatever but go to your people at your school and get it's a resource for you military people at school like for you to have so I'm glad I just so happened to talk with a rep there and I'm a little annoyed, but it's fine. Um, it's just been so many times like in my career growing up, like I didn't know I was entitled to a lot of things. Yeah, I'm glad that I discovered that and got that uh, army ignited. So, yep, 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 yep. So hot, I can't wait till this stuff is finished because your girl is dying.